So yeah, networking. These guys, they spend a ton of money marketing and they get a lot of leads and like, I don't know what to do with this lead. Because they're yeah. traditional yeah. flippers. The traditional flippers. Or the traditional wholesalers. So that 70% minus repairs minus your fee, that's what they're looking for. When you find a deal that fits outside that parameter, what are you gonna do with it? Gotta figure it out. That's where I step in. So I got a, I got a wholesaler down in Sacramento and she is huge. She spends about $25,000 a month in marketing. A lot of leads. I spoke at a, a meet, recently at a, read, at a meetup. She's like, I've been wanting to learn this stuff. I just don't have time to learn it. I don't want to learn it now. I'm just too busy. I'll partner with you on all of my leads that I, don't, that I can't close. So my Sacramento guys, guess what they're going to be filtered to? So just FYI. <laughs> um, yeah, great resource for that. So let's, let me, let's, let's actually do some real stuff. Let's pull up Craigslist. Let's pull up Zillow and show you guys what this sounds like when you talk to a seller. Where is this on your priorities? Parts? If I don't have deals, it's a priority. If you've gone through all If I've done pre-foreclosure and I've done property radar and I've driven some properties and I, and I can't get sellers to talk to me or we're just you know, in a holding pattern, I got time, I got a priority to get some sellers in my, hand, in my queue. The Facebook Marketplace. So how do you, what is that? You just put it up in a search engine? Let's do it. So. Uh, I was asking, um, I see the first bullet point, Facebook Marketplace. How do I get to that word? I'll show you right now. This is where I actually I advertise all my properties in Facebook Marketplace. Oh, I give him 99% of all the profit. I keep 1%. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's real scalable. I try to keep as much as I can. It depends on what they're doing. So right when you log in, oh, I just lost it. You see where it says Marketplace? Yeah. Click on it right there. Oh, it's the same wrong, but I was like, yeah, they've changed it up somewhere. Now they actually have the housing section. Yep. <laughs> so I just type in here. Says for subway owner. And I don't know where's Bernie at, man. Oh, that's the five there last. Oh, is it okay? So let's see. Bernie Falls. Bernie Falls. All right. Three two. Am I? That's right. Okay. Owner will consider one small dog in case of uh, case by case basis. Approximate square foot. So this is a rental? Yeah, it says property rentals. So yeah, I don't know. Do yeah. Uh, 11 bed, four baths, Stockton. Let's call it up, man. It's an apartment. It's for sale. Built in 1880, unusual bargain on this triplex. Okay, four bath, 11, 11 divided by three. How many bedrooms is that? Three. Three, yeah. Fixer upper. Arlaric von Borner. So I wonder if this guy is actually the, the seller. So I don't deal with wholesalers. You don't talk to them and say, hey, you guys. Not, not out of the market, too far down south, Stockton. Okay. That's two hours I'm not going to drive. I'll drive an hour each way. I'll go an hour south to Sacramento, I'll go an hour north to Chico, I'll go an hour east to what, Grass Valley, I guess that's where that's at. And I'll go an hour, hour west to like Davis or Willows. I had property in Willows for a while. So um, I, I can tell you this from personal experience. I have way more, I have, I have a better um, result on selling on Facebook Marketplace than I actually do on buying off of Facebook Marketplace. So let me see if I just go house for sale instead of by owner. Oh, look at this, a tiny house. Miguel, yeah, there we go. Let's call on this guy. 174. Awesome remodeled home. Chances are, let's do this. Manufactured. Uh, it's listed. Louis Diamond. So I don't call on on uh, on listed properties. Price to sell remodeled. One thirty eight, huh? 
Oh, it's Luis Diamond again. He's a hustler on Facebook Marketplace, guys. Fully updated 1990 manufactured home in Chico. That's not, must not be on land. Home delivery included. So your guy that wants uh, a mobile home on his property, here you go, 35 grand, dude. Wow. Mark Chang. No, it's not. But in order to move it, what would it cost to move it? Yeah. No. Yeah. A uh, delivery included. Even better. He must be, yeah, it must be like within, like a, it, within Chico. <laughs> Let's call him up. That's a good deal for me. Yeah. I have a lot right now I'm looking for. Can you forward that to me? <laughs> yeah, I will. Where I can look it up myself. No, I'll just. See, see, this is what I don't like. It doesn't have the guy's phone number. So let's go to Craigslist. <coughs> two, two, right? That's perfect for that one. Yeah, there you go, man. Sure thing. So uh, you with Sutter, let's go to housing. I'm going to go to real estate for sale. I thought my eyes were breaking for a minute. Invest in our green share house. Listing broker wanted, tiny house. Veterans, 100% financing. Yeah, right. Veterans are going to get that house. <laughs> so I actually, my strategy was I actually started pulling out of, of Facebook just because it was, not, excuse me, off Craigslist because it got just, it just died up really fast. Um, a lot of scams too. There are a lot of scams out there. House for sale by owner, homestead, seven acres on Browns Valley. Okay, I will call that dude, and I'll, I'll call this guy just as well. So let's open it up. It's a beautifully remodeled fan, uh, home. What number is that? 1149 Cecil? Yeah, you know it? I know that house. I live next door to it. Oh, did crazy. you really? Yeah, I live on the right side there. Of it. That's where you had your first kiss, right? My first what? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> your first kiss. <laughs> Cecil? Mm. Yeah. Please kiss, please kiss. Dude loves comic books, man. So, take a look at it. It's a very nice property. So. Looking at this, what do you think is going to happen? He's going to want retail. Okay. Ah, it's listed with Jackie Moon. So, not going to do it. I'm familiar with that house, too. Cool. Let's go with this one. On seven acres. That's a cool looking home. Comes complete with the hippie Subaru. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the guys up in the mountains that grow a lot of weed, but they all have Subarus. Like almost every single one of them do, man. <laughs> now check that out. Hmm. You guys know what that is? Stove. Yeah. I would imagine it's also Medium. something you can heat on. You can you can eat on it. Yeah. So I always just do this just to get an idea of what I'm looking at. So look at this. Look at the small house. Look at two, oh, it's a three one, 1,200 square feet. Got it outside. Yeah, bread or pizza, something like that, chicken coop. All right, this property is perfect in every way, blah, blah, blah. I don't ever read all of this stuff just because it doesn't really apply. Um, I'm just looking for any, like, key things that says don't do this. We are the owners of the property here, full time. All right, let's call this guy up. You use the negative symbols in the search line? Sometimes. Minus uh -huh. whatever. Yep. Oh, like, minus listed? Or no. um, minus broker, realtor. minus realtor. Yeah, do you guys know what he's talking about? No. I'll show you in just a second. Call 530-675-9356. Calling 530-675-9356. Notary, what? The notary of the public up there. Strawberry, raspberry, gooseberry, cherry, Hi, I was calling about a house that I saw for sale on Craigslist. Okay, yes. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, it, it's not it's not sold, is it? Uh, no, we just put it for sale. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Um, what can you tell me about the condition of the property? Uh, the condition of the property is crazy. Are you familiar with this area? I am. Yeah. No, I'm looking to buy as a for myself. Yeah, so you're familiar with this this whole area, right? 
Right, I am. Well, okay, so this is beautiful. I mean, the property is beautiful. We have almost seven acres here. Okay. How how re, how old is the roof? The roof is very good. It's metal roof. Okay. Uh, with a snow white roll on it. Oh, perfect. Yeah, no, it's a really good roof. And we also have another building with two uh, with two rooms. That is a wood construction building. Not finished inside, but still nice. Wood it's a very fairly new, just several years old, and then it also has a nice new metal roof on it as well. Right. Okay. So the garage, we have a two-car garage with large, large carports on each side, and all that is a metal roof. I I got you. Okay. And oh. the house itself, the big, the, the, the great thing here in this heck of the woods is that the, the house is made from uh, concrete block. 